Hello again book lovers and a short review of a short-ish book. This time it's The Riddle in the Night. Who was the knight? Sir John Mandeville. Who was he? We don't really know. That's why it's a riddle. What we do know is that somebody named Mandeville left England in 1322, spent 34 years wandering around the world, getting as far as India and China, he claims. And then, well, there are various theories as to what happened on his return, if he ever did return to his native St Albans. I bought this book because I liked a couple of other books by Mr Milton. This was different in tone, it wasn't so much history, it was more of a travelogue, because he sets out in the footsteps of Sir John, who by the way in the Middle Ages for centuries was very 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 famous on account of these travelogues that he sent back with these wonderful stories very similar to the exaggerated claims of Herodotus. In any case off goes Giles Milton to follow in his tracks to check up and see if the descriptions of Jerusalem and etc tally with where he was. I think there's uh, enough for a book half the size here so it's sort of padded out with the stories of how he took the ferry to so-and-so island to speak with so-and-so monks. That really isn't my cup of tea. I have enjoyed books by Bruce Chatwin and Paul Theroux but I would prefer the pure history. Of course there isn't a pure history here. That is what we're trying to establish. Well written as you would expect. I don't want to speak too dismissively of it. It is a slight thing padded out with some of the nice old woodcut type engravings of these people with one large leg which they use to shade themselves with at night or people with no mouths except a small hole, people with dogs heads, all the usual. And it does immerse you a little bit into the age of the crusaders and religious mystics holy relics were quite the thing back then for example and i was quite pleased to find out that certain high ups boasted of having acquired the virgin's milk for example as well as christ's breath in a bottle the tip of the devil's tail one of goliath's teeth which was miraculously dug up in venice and Hale's Abbey became a centre of attention as it had a phial of the blood of Christ. Well, you get a lot of detail like that, a lot of local detail on the travelogue, and it's certainly past the time. In fact, in my experience, it was just the thing for an aeroplane flight.